made it. Lord of mercy, I'm tired. That ain't even that ain't even April yet. It's still in March. I gotta get some more sleep. <sighs> a little bit of deja vu from yesterday. Same place. About the same time. Go in here and let this turkey kick us in the face again. He gobbled a handful of times again yesterday evening, so he flew up and gobbled, so. Only issue is where he roosted last night was right in a bottom. I'm talking like right where a couple little creeks and feeder creeks kind of dump in, and so he could have flew up off of one of three or four different little finger ridges. So, I don't know, I even considered hunting him from the bottom yesterday morning. I don't know if it was because they were influenced a little bit because of the guy blowing all the turkeys off the stick is the reason they went straight to the bottom, or if that's just what they always do. Um, I just don't know. hope that ain't wind out here. Damn, it is wind. Well, that's not good. The freaking wind's already pushing the trees around. Got a couple guys that have pulled up in front of us here and stopped on the road. Wonder if they're gonna try to backdoor me again or what the deal is. They, uh... Cut the lights out, went lights out there for a while because these two trucks pulled up in front of me. Slammed on the brakes when they got in front of me and stopped. And I was just lights out. Well, I come to find out, I think it's the Forest Service. Because I noticed they got some ribbons and stuff up across the road. I guess maybe they're doing a burn across the road or something. I don't know. I just went ahead and got my crap together and then wasted 30 flipping minutes now. But as you can hear, I don't know if you can hear or not. But it is freaking windy. I mean, it's windy. That's uh, that, that that's not good. situation all flipping morning and with this wind yesterday the turkey flew down he flew down uphill didn't take him no time to get to the bottom though today with the wind I'm wondering if they're gonna go to the bottoms again I would think so the turkey roosted to me sounded like right in the mouth of about where three or four feeder creeks come in together they all a bunch of finger ridges are just gonna dump into one place I'm gonna go against my, probably my better judgment setting up above the turkey like I did yesterday. And I'm fixing to probably do something that's gonna take too much time and I'm fixing to loop around to get in the creek and try to get in the bottom right below the turkey, I think. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear, but the wind is pushing the trees and I'm gonna think that these turkeys are gonna drop right down into that bottom. It just makes sense, so. Thank <laughs> you. 
Man alive. Man alive. Put myself in a heck of a spot. Oh. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Goblin fool, Lord of mercy, you goblin. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See that little. Let's see, where am I? Yeah. That little tree that's crooked right there. We were at the base of it, no? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That little tree that's crooked right there. We were at the base of it. You can see that white dead stick is what I had my leg under. It was kind of holding me under there, holding me in place. See the camera. That black spot right beside that dark tree. Uh, if he was down right here. I hope that dang tree right there wasn't in the way of the camera. So I'm sorry, it had to go down me. We roosted this turkey yesterday evening from straight up on top of this ridge right here. All my intentions, every intention was to do exactly like I did yesterday. Because in my opinion, he was dead yesterday if the guys hadn't have messed me up, hadn't have blown the hens across him and caused all that ruckus. I was going to walk right down this top, sit up from him, and do my thing. This morning, my mind got to playing tricks on me. I got out of the truck and the wind was whipping pretty good. You can hear in the trees now. It was worse before daylight. And uh, I thought, man, they flew down yesterday, went straight down to the bottom. It's gonna be windy today. I bet it's gonna be in the bottom. And I had this joker roosted. Well, I mean, he was roosted. This is there's about four or five fingers that come in right here, and this is the this is the bottom of them right here. Is where they all converge. And I had him gobble. I had him gobbling right in the center of the thing. No way of knowing which one of these little knobs he used to. I guess the little jakes and hens are across the bottom from him. Anyways, no way of knowing which one of these knobs that he pitched from, so I just kind of said, with the wind, I bet they're going to the bottom. I'm going to get in the bottom below them. Got down there this morning, which was an absolute act of Congress. I got wet feet from walking in the creek, fell in the creek. Then banks about 15 feet high. I had to climb in and out of that thing half a dozen times. <sighs> got all the way around where I wanted to be, and he gobbled, and I thought, this ain't going to work down here. This ain't going to work. Made me peel peeled around and came up right here over this where you can see where it rolls up I just popped up right there and I thought well about 30 yards here worth of shooting we can try to uh, make that work and we did logging crews going behind us lots of noise in this area we added to it this morning. Oh man, thank you, Lord. Let me find my shell hole. Man, this thing acted as a perfect gun prop. Old tree here, I had to snuggle upside this one, and that just like it worked perfect. Hold your gun on, and he was gobbling in the tree. 
right there. And I'm pretty sure you may not be able to get to see the shot, but you got to see him flutter down in the camera and walk right up to here. I think we've got him somewhere right in there. This show feels good. siesta spot here. Man, what a morning. Whew. I don't know if y'all enjoyed that as much as I did. I know the self-filming side of things makes the footage pretty much gutter work, but uh, not that when it's not self-filmed it's great, but you know. Just gotta get what you can take, or no, I'm sorry, take what you can get, I guess, is my mentality when it comes to this stuff. We all know that. You all should know that if you've been watching some of this stuff, but we got us a fine Mississippi Gobbler this morning. So therefore, we accomplish, we accomplished the task at hand. Couldn't be happier. Hmm, couldn't be happier. We worked for this joker. I think I just fell asleep mid-sentence. But anyways, before I fall out and eat up this whole SD card with me sleeping, y'all wouldn't believe how many SD cards I have with me just sitting up against a tree asleep because I just kind of go out mid-conversation, would you? But um, we're going to smoke a cigar first, if y'all don't mind. Not kind of something I do when we get lucky. There they are right there. Hmm. Tasty. What was the show that was once a show that was like, I hope you enjoyed this show as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. I can't remember who that was. You should say that, but anyway. Case in point here. Hope you enjoyed this show as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. Hmm. That's awful tasty. My favorite breakfast. Hey, we appreciate you guys joining us for this video. If you like this one, you'll probably like the next one. I'll leave it up here in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll leave our social media links down in the description below. That's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff. So you can find that in that little drop-down description below. And uh, as always, we sure appreciate you guys following along.